Hi guys, I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be bringing you an Aluma Crate unboxing which is very exciting because I have never tried Aluma Crate before but they did reach out to me and asked if I wanted to become one of their reps. So you will be seeing a few of these videos over the next few months and just like with my previous unboxing videos of book subscription boxes I will be going over both obviously my reactions to the products that are inside but also telling you whether I think it's actually worth having or like a useful item because I know that when I started watching unboxings I found quite a lot of things in subscription boxes to be a little bit pointless like it would look nice but then I wouldn't really know what to do with it so I will be telling you whether I think it's worth having whether it's something that I know what to do with and just yeah that sort of thing. <laughs> I do also want to apologize if you can hear anything because as you can see I am filming in the middle of the day which means children. <laughs> and just before we get into it with me being a rep it does mean that I have a discount code for you guys if you also want to try out Illumicrate for yourself. So if you would like to sign up for a three month or a six month subscription you can use the code FROLIC5 to get a discount on that. Now if you've seen any of my unboxing videos before you'll know that I pride myself on being able to guess what the books are but this one was a pretty obvious box because this one was called In the Shadows and if you look at the graphic for it I think you know what this book will be. <laughs> I am still very very excited and I've heard that this box is great from the people who have opened it already so let's find out. So opening the box it looks like this. We have the card on top with more information on the back about next month and then I can see one thing and lots of um, padding so <laughs> at least we know the products aren't going anywhere. But the first thing I can see is this box and on it it says Illumicrate Ceramic Mug. No it doesn't. It says Illumicrate Exclusive Mug. I don't know what this is referencing. Is that a book title? That looks really cool. Oh this is inspired by the villain series by Victoria Schwab which I have read and loved and if I can, there we go. This is what it looks like. And I can definitely see it now. It always takes me a moment to realise what fan art is referencing because I don't imagine characters. Like I don't see characters in my head when I'm reading. But I can definitely see it now. But this is a really nice size as well. Like it's quite, it would be a decent sized coffee in here and I'm uh, very happy about that. I do collect mugs, which my dad always he doesn't tell me off but he's always just like you don't have room for any more mugs and you don't need any more mugs and then I'm like <laughs> getting more mugs so I will definitely be using these and even if I don't use it as an actual mug to drink out of just in case you didn't know what drinking was if I don't use it as an actual mug I've seen people pop plants in these and it would be like it's a really decent size for a small plant which sounds ridiculous if you have never seen somebody do that before but it just looks so cute and I'm very much a plant person so um I'm very happy with this one so far so good <gasps> is this a tote bag it's not a tote bag it is a tea towel oh my god <laughs> that's incredible <laughs> wow so this is a tea towel and um this is Arya's hit list, basically, from Game of Thrones. I feel like there's spoilers on this, actually. Should I be showing this? Don't read this tea towel if you haven't read Game of Thrones and you want to. But this is Arya's kill list from Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh my god. It literally looks like parchment, but in fabric form. I really like that. I don't know if I will actually use it as a tea towel. It's the sort of thing, like, because of the colour of it, I could just hang it in my room somewhere. But that'd be weird, probably. It would also match the stuff in my kitchen. Probably would be used. <laughs> I don't know how often other people would use this sort of thing, because I've seen tea towels become more of a thing in subscription boxes. And usually I would find it weird. Like, this one is just a case of the design works for my personal aesthetic, whether it be in my house or hung on the wall in my room somewhere, but... In terms of if it was any other design, I don't know how well I would use it. Like it is a thing you can use and it is actually a productive item, I guess. But I suppose that depends on personal preference. So then we have, oh, oh, that's pretty. So we have an enamel pin. I'm just going to take it out of the packaging so it stops crinkling. 
So this is inspired by the Court of Miracles and is super shiny and pretty. This is what it looks like close up. I do actually collect enamel pins but I still need one of those little flag things to hand them on. But I have got a collection going so this will definitely be added to that and it's just super shiny. I obviously don't know the reference yet because I haven't read Court of Miracles but definitely matches the aesthetic. <laughs> and then we have, oh, this is sturdy, wow. So this is a metal bookmark and it's for Serpent and Dove which I haven't read but Becca has read it and she really enjoyed it and she's been telling me to read it. So on the back it says love makes fools of us all darling. So yeah I'm presuming that's the main couple. We do also have a little tassel. This is a really satisfying noise. <laughs> I do like that even though I don't know who the people are. <laughs> it's like they knew. This is literally a fan. We have a fan. I am the war you cannot win is what it says on it. Now I would not usually use this but right now in the UK we're going through a heat wave so this right now it feels like a dream. <laughs> I don't know how often I will use this because like I don't sit here and do this in my days but um right now very very grateful for this. <laughs> okay I'm gonna stop. So then we have the book and in case you hadn't guessed already the book is A Court of Miracles by Castor Gran and I love this edition. It's not too different from the original edition I think but the key difference that I'm noticing at least is that this is black and the usual edition is like a really dark blue or a navy colour which is fine and I like it but I feel like black and this kind of coppery colour goes a lot nicer together. It is signed by the author and we have these really beautiful end pages. <gasps> I was not expecting that, wow. I don't know if this is anything like the original edition but look at that. Look at it. Wow. I am shaken to the core. I was not expecting that. Ooh, look at that. I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> now this book has been getting an absolute ton of promotion and it's one of those that you see absolutely everywhere. But it's also one of those which I know very little about or rather I know what it's about vaguely but not enough to actually tell you the synopsis like just off the top of my head. The only thing that comes to mind is that this is a retelling of Les Mis. But the synopsis inside this just says, in the violent urban jungle of an alternative 1828 Paris, the French Revolution has failed and the city is divided between merciless royalty and nine underworld criminal guilds known as the Court of Miracles. Eponine, or Nina, is a talented cat burglar and member of the Thieves Guild. Nina's life is midnight robberies, avoiding her father's fists and watching over her naive adopted sister, Cosette, otherwise known as Etty. When Etty attracts the eye of the ruthless lord of the Guild of Flesh, Nina is caught in a desperate race to keep the younger girl safe, forcing her to make a terrible choice, protect Etty and set off a brutal war between the guilds or forever lose her sister to the tiger. It does also say in here that the cover underneath, so the hidden cover of all the foiling underneath the dust jacket is actually exclusive to this as well, so wow. <laughs> This is one that I've been vaguely interested in because as I said it was literally everywhere. I don't think it's one that I will be prioritising anytime soon just because I've got so many other plans instead but I am still excited to read it because again Becca read this one recently and she actually had quite a good review of it so that has made me a little bit more interested because me and Becca do have quite a lot of similar opinions when it comes to books so I am excited to read this one and um, just add it to my shelves to be honest because Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We do also have a couple of paper items in the bottom. <gasps> no. <laughs> we have this print, which is foiled, and it's Bryce and Hun from House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mars. Oh my goodness. I loved House of Earth and Blood. It's one of my favourite books of this year, and there's been fan art 
but there's not been too much like actual products that you can buy and stuff so this is the first thing I've gotten besides like the pre-order poster that Bloomsbury sent out and it's foiled! Oh my god I love it! We do also have this which is actually a letter from the author and she seems to have doodled everywhere. <laughs> oh, I really really love that box. I feel like it was just an all-round glowing review. If I had to choose a favourite and a least favourite thing I would say the House of Earth and Blood poster is probably my favourite thing. As for least favourite I would probably just say the fan because I don't know how much I will use it. I feel like this is one of those things I'll just have lying around somewhere for the longest time not really knowing where to store it or anything so I don't know how often I will be using this but I am just blown away by the book design because like it's a stunning book anyway but there's just something about that one that you I mean you saw my reaction. <laughs> so that was a very positive first experience of Illumicrate and thank you to Illumicrate for sending this one my way. Remember I do have a discount code for you guys which is frolic5 if you want to get a three or a six month subscription and again everything will be linked down below but I think that's it for this video so let me know if you are subscribed to any book subscription boxes, if you have got this box yourself, if you've read A Court of Miracles or plan to because I don't know when it's actually released but I feel like it's out now. <laughs> so let me know if you have read it or plan on reading it but for now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember to leave a like and a comment to let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already then please consider doing so. Down in the description box you'll find links to all of the books I've mentioned, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well so be sure to check that out if you haven't already but for now I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!